Theatophonic presents part one of Bliss, written by Scott Peacock, adapted for radio and directed by Emmeline Brayfield. The year is 3083. The world is being run by one corporation, the Bliss Society, the 29. Life is idyllic, blissful. Can it get any better than that? No one will ask questions. No one will ask questions. No one will ask questions. Where am I? Hello? Hey, is anyone there? How the hell did I get here? Once again, I would like to thank everyone for voting myself and my 28 deputies into our fourth term. We will continue to make life as blissful as ever. Thank you again for this wonderful opportunity. Good night. Sir? Sir? Senator Bliss? Oh, oh, sorry. Miss, please stand clear of our leader. I'm, I'm so very sorry. I was hoping to have a word with you, sir. No harm done. Jack, let the lady past. I love an eager journalist. Who are you? Katie Maddox, sir. There is no one under the name Katie Maddock on our approved entry list. To be absolutely honest, sir, I, I snuck in. I just had to meet you. Ah, I do admire a woman with tenacity. You have a lovely voice. I'm opening an additional news studio soon. I think you would make a fantastic member of our reporting team. What do you think, Jack? Oh, really? That would be incredible. Thank you, sir. Of course, of course. Jack Hoyt here will take your details so we can set up an interview. Oh, and please do come to the celebration dinner tonight. Jack will make sure that you are on the guest list. I believe I've seen you before, madam. It must be fate. Would you care for a dance? Uh, Absolutely, sir. I would be (laughs) honoured. Hi. Katie, right? Yeah, and and you're Jack? (laughs) Well remembered. (laughs) What was all that about? Well, I didn't think we really got off on the best of terms, so I felt that a unique approach would work best. Well, it was definitely unique. (laughs) Surely you're supposed to be guarding our divine leader rather than dancing with journalistic interlopers. Uh, That was just for the press conference. I'm in the police normally. Not much for you to do now that crime has been almost completely eradicated. No, not much at all. It's mainly moving homeless into free housing, stopping teenagers getting into trouble, and providing security for Senator Bliss, of course. Not that he really needs it. I don't know of a single soul who would wish him harm. It's always better to be safe than sorry. Ow! (laughs) Sorry. I'm a terrible dancer. We're both a bit awful. I stood on your toes far too many times. At least we're even then. Though, you're the one wearing the ring that is digging into my hand. I think I shall call it the Ring of Doom. It's very distracting. Oh, come on. Don't blame your awful dancing on a ring. I will have you know that that ring is stopping me from unlocking my inner potential. (laughs) Look, I'll do you a deal. You take that ring of doom off your finger and stop it from ripping off bits of my skin. And I will ask you on a date. Or I will keep stepping on your toes until they go numb. Deal? (laughs) I don't think I've got much of a choice. Do you know the 30 Days a Night's Bar? 
They're holding a cocktail party this Saturday. This Saturday? Yep. Ah. Oh, sorry. Did I stand on you again? No, just, just a bit of a headache. I'll see you on Saturday. Thank you for the dance, I think. You might need my phone number, you plonker. Hell of a swanky bar. Nice choice. Not a bad way to spend a Saturday. You're definitely the most beautiful woman here. And trust me, if you weren't, I would have been off by now. <laughs> Shut up. Seriously, thank you for inviting me. You're welcome. Would you like a drink? Yes, please. But I'm not drinking tonight, so it'll be soft drinks for me all the way. I'll let you choose something. Surprise me. No problem. I'll be right back. I've never told anyone this before. I get really weird dreams sometimes. I suppose you could call them nightmares. About what? It changes. Sometimes I'm alone in a wasteland, running from something. Sometimes I'm fighting an invisible force, trying to protect people I love and... <clears throat> now I'm going to ask you a question and you have to be totally honest. Am I drunk? <laughs> if you have to ask, then you already have your answer. I thought you weren't going to be drinking. I'm going to put it down to nerves. <laughs> You've only had a couple and you're slurring your words. I do hope you're not going to take advantage of me. <laughs> I can't believe you could ask such a thing. <laughs> this might be a little forward, but would it be okay if I kissed you? <laughs> Give it a try and I'll let you know. okay? I'd like to see her now, please. Come on! Someone talk to me. Where am I? Where is my wife? Katie! Hey, hey, who turned out the lights? Here we are. Cell 30. Open it. Jack, at last. Come on, let's move. Who the hell are you? How do you know my name? How, how did you know I'm here? No time. I'll answer your questions once we're secure. All you need to know is that you really don't want to be here. Move. It's not that I don't really appreciate you bringing us here for our anniversary, Jack. It's just I get really nervous about eating in places like this. I mean... It's so lovely. Look at the perfectly white tablecloths. You know how clumsy I am. I'm going to drop something and it's going to be pretty obvious that I have. Uh, I wouldn't worry. Oh, <laughs> see? Two mouthfuls and it's already happened. You know how I deal with situations like this? Like this! Oh no, I got food all over my shirt. You know what that means. Now you have to take it off. I would, but first I have to do this. Oh! Oh, you want to start a food fight? You're going to pay for that. Oh! <laughs> stop it, stop it! You're going to get it everywhere. Hey. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We didn't mean to get it on. Hey, take that! <laughs> I'm going to go outside and get some fresh air. All this messing around has got me all hot and bothered. Back in a minute. What have you been up to? You've been gone ages. Wow, the bridge looks amazing from here. 
The snow makes everything sparkle, like we're surrounded by magic. It's really beautiful tonight, isn't it? I, I think it's perfect, just like you. This past year has been the most incredible of my life, and I can't imagine spending the rest of my life with anyone else. Will you make me the happiest man in the world by being my wife? I love you, even if you throw food all over yourself. <laughs> of course I will, you plonker. Public camera, please take a photo. Photo uploaded to your public profile. Thank you for trusting us with your memories. Please attend your local health centre if requested. Have a good evening. We are gathered here on this beautiful sunny day to celebrate the wedding of Jack and Katie. Do you have the rings? I understand that you have written your own vows. I have loved you from the moment I saw you. I promise to cherish and respect you for the rest of your life. I love you, Katie. The ring's on the wrong finger. Take it off quickly and I'll pretend I haven't noticed. I love you more and more every day. You are my world, Jack. Jack Hoyt, do you wish for Katie Maddock to be your wife by the law of our most blissful country? I do. Katie Maddock, do you wish for Jack Hoyt to be your husband by the law of our most blissful country? I do. Then by the power vested in me by our honourable leader, I pronounce you husband and wife. Yay! Yay! <laughs> public camera, please take a photo. Photo uploaded to your public profile. Thank you for trusting us with your memories. Please attend your local health centre if requested. Have a good evening. Good afternoon, Mr. Hoyt. My name is Michelle Blake. How are you? What's going on? Am I a prisoner? Quite the contrary. Then what the bloody hell am I doing here? How are your headaches, Jack? What? How do, how do you know How about those that? unexplained images flashing in your mind? The nightmares? Have you been speaking to my doctor? Does life still feel too perfect to be real? How could you know all this? You want answers, and we've got them. Follow me. Can you believe we've got the keys to our very own flat? Where do you want these boxes? Uh, just over there, please. Do you want to put all of the clothes away now? We might as well wait. It's already past seven. How did that happen? We haven't even started food yet. We'll get a takeaway. That's the rules when you first move in. Okay. You order and I'll set the table. First, I would like to make a toast to our new home. To 30 Clarendon Crescent. Cheers. Cheers! I hate to put a downer on things, but don't forget you've been called to the local health centre tomorrow morning. Oh, don't remind me. I hate thinking of that place. Don't complain. It's free healthcare. And you need to get your nightmares sorted. How have the headaches been? Not too bad recently. They're worse after I have a nightmare. But who wants to talk about that on moving day? Here, I, I got you these. We are blissful tickets. How in bliss did you manage to get these? They sold out in seconds. That would be telling. We're going in two weeks. Oh, thank you so much. I love you, Jack. I love you too. Good afternoon, sir. Welcome to the Blissful Health Facility. How are you feeling today? Yeah, fine. I've been called in for a health check. Ah, yes. Please look into the retinal scanner. Thank you. Do take a seat, Mr. Hoyt. Please, you have to help me! Mrs. White, we've told you before, the doctor cannot see you for another two weeks. But the nightmares are getting worse! I appreciate that, madam, but there's nothing we can do at the moment due to your medication. We'll be able to treat them at your next appointment. You don't understand. They're horrific. Please! Please leave, madam, or I'll be forced to call security. Mr. Hoyt, the doctor is ready for you now. 
I saw her again as I was leaving the facility. She looks an absolute mess. What if that happens to me? There was someone having similar issues at my last checkup. I suppose it could be a side effect of the treatment? What did the doctor say? Oh, she just did some scans on me, including that weird meditation one. I think I fell asleep. I always fall asleep during those scans. After I came to, she said everything looked fine, but she gave me injection for the headaches. I feel good at the moment. I hope so. I don't like the thought of you in pain. You know I'll always protect you, and I won't let anything happen to you. I know. Don't be a plonker. Come on, I want you to watch my first ever broadcast as news anchor. Oh, thank you for recording it. So frustrated that I couldn't see it live. Stupid health checkups. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the blissful evening news on the 8th of June, 3083. The headline today... Our most divine leaders have released updated crime figures, which states that there has been a 60% reduction in crime, including a complete eradication of murder. Senator Bliss has confirmed that an additional 30,000 residential units will be built for free housing, and the opening of an additional 50 healthcare units. Please ensure that you register with your local healthcare facility, and attend your regular checkups to ensure that your free healthcare is maintained. In the weather, we are expecting another glorious weekend with light showers overnight. Don't forget to tune in later this evening for our live-streamed concert from the best-selling band, We Are Blissful. Wishing you all a wonderful evening. Have sweet dreams. Long live the 29. Ugh, so cringy. You sounded perfect. Enjoy your success, Mrs. News Anchor. AI, please take a photo. Photo uploaded to your public profile. Thank you for trusting us with your memories. Please attend your local health centre if requested. Have a good evening. We best make a move if we want to avoid the queues at the concert. Are you looking forward to it? Of course. It's We Are Blissful. I'll grab my bag. Bon. Bon. If you are enjoying Theatrephonic, come join us in the green room by becoming a patron. Just £2 a month will get you ad-free episodes. £5 a month and you will also have blooper reels, after-show question and answer sessions, the occasional bonus episode and exclusive Theatrephonic merch. Our £10 top tier also gives you the opportunity to attend a live play recording, as well as a chance to name a character in an episode. Head along to theatrephonic.com forward slash Patreon for more information. Bon. Bon. What time is it? I, I don't want to miss my report. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Midday Blissful News on the 19th of November, 3083. Today marks an incredible milestone. Our divine leaders, headed by Senator Bliss, have been confirmed for their fifth term in office following another landslide victory at the ballot box. Members of the public from around the nation have been voicing their thanks to our divine leaders for their remarkable achievements, including the increasing number of free housing opportunities, free medical care, and the recent confirmation that there has been a further 70% reduction in crime, with violent crime having been eradicated entirely. With all this achieved in 20 years, imagine what the next five will bring. We're going over to the parliamentary offices now, where our most illustrious leader is about to give his acceptance speech. Thank you to everyone that has voted for us for the fifth time. I promise that we will continue to stand up for the rights of our people. We will ensure that the next five years will be as blissful as the last. It is incredible to think that you have granted us this honor for so long. Once again, you have believed in us, believed that we, that I am worthy to lead you. To show my gratitude, I am holding a celebration the likes of which have never been seen before. A magnificent occasion for you, my people, tonight at 7.30. Thank you once again. Long live the 29. Long live the 29. So, what do you think? I went over it hundreds of times in my head. I think it went well. Yeah, lovely. It's so wonderful to have him acknowledging us in that way. I do love that man, and what he's done for us. Don't you think it's a little weird that we've kept the same man? 
The same 29 people in power for the last 20 odd years? Not really. If you think back to all the wonderful things they've done for this country, personally, I can't think of anyone else who could lead us better. I guess you're right. My headache is making me grouchy. Take one of the pills they gave you. You want to be feeling good and have a fantastic evening? Come on, we don't want to be late. It's snowing. Does this remind you of anything? Of course it does. Let's see how good your memory really is. Can you remember the night I asked you the big question? No, I've got no idea. Who are you again? <laughs> of course I remember. That was a lovely restaurant. We are so lucky, aren't we? To have met each other, I mean. You are a proper soppy git. Life's just so perfect. It feels... Unreal. Jack, watch out! Katie! Keep still. If you keep moving, the AI might hit something important. Surely everything in my brain is important. You'd be surprised. Well, talk to me. Keep me calm. How did I end up here? What are you doing now? We've had our eye on you for a while. We could see that you were an anomaly, so An anomaly? That will be explained later. Just understand that we've been watching you. We therefore saw when you had your car crash. Oh, don't move! Oh God! I was in a car crash. Is Katie okay? I'm sure she is. You weren't, however. Your chip got damaged further than it already was. Our spies informed us that you were set to be... destroyed. So we came in and got you out. You were in one of the holding cells where we found you. Holding cell 30? Yeah. Does that mean something to you? I don't know. Wait, my chip got damaged. What chip? Reality alteration programs deleted. An estimated 50% of modified memories removed. Only 50%? Due to the corruption of the chip, I was unable to confirm which of the remaining memories were modified. What the hell is going on? You can sit up now, Jack. You have a brain chip. Everyone in Bliss has one. The state uses it to implant, alter and delete memories, keeping you all in line. There are fake memories in my head. What? Which memories did you remove? What about the memories of my wife? Of Katie. She has to be real, right? Those could be modified. No. No, this can't be true. I'm sorry, Jack. The headaches you were suffering were due to your brain rejecting the chip and its false memories. This is what made you an anomaly. The nightmares you were having were your real memories coming through. Can't you, can't you just remove the chip completely? No. It's too deep in your hippocampus. Removing it could kill you. I'm sorry, I know I'm dumping a whole load on you right now, but ripping the plaster off is the best way. Come look out the window. What the fuck am I looking at? A nuclear wasteland, Jack. What? Did it ever cross your mind, while in bliss, that the year was always 3083? I... No. We're not sure why the leaders decided to keep the year eternally the same. It must cause issues with everyone's memory chips. What year is it then? No one has a clue. Not after all that happened. What happened? No records remain to really say. From what we've been able to gather, around 200 years ago, tensions reached a fever pitch between the most powerful nations. And at some point, one of them pressed the big red button. The rest then quickly followed. How many countries were hit? We can't be exactly sure, but all of them were affected in some way. The bombs caused catastrophic earthquakes, tsunamis and volcanic eruptions throughout the globe. We destroyed our planet at the press of a button. How many people are out there? And where have I been all this time? We don't know about elsewhere, but in England, 4,000 men and women were secured in bunkers around the country. Once it was safe for them to resurface, they started again. But it was a pitiful existence, fighting over the few scraps that would grow. 
Everyone was traumatized from what had become of their Earth. It was miserable. Then, about 40 years ago, the society now calling itself Bliss came across a new mineral, somehow created by the combination of the nuclear blast and the natural phenomena that ensued. It's an incredible energy and building resource, which naturally made it very valuable. Originally, the society's designs were pure. They used the mineral to create the memory chips to alter memories and to help their people to cope. They promised to build grand new cities for them too. What went wrong? Greed. At some point, they realized they could use the chips to alter everyone's thoughts and memories and con them into believing that the apocalypse never happened. So the people happily live in deprivation, thinking that they have a glorious life? Exactly. While the 29 Bliss leaders and their closest allies themselves live in opulence. They removed free will, along with conscious awareness of what is really happening, so have managed to stay in control for over 30 years. Those poor mindless souls live in squalor, believing that their lives are perfect. They slave away to build a life of splendor for their captors. Who are these leaders? Can we get rid of them? It's not that easy, I'm afraid. All we know is that there are 29 of them, though whether that's the true number, we have no idea. Their identities are a closely guarded secret, and access to them is next to impossible. Access into Bliss itself is hard enough. So nothing I did in Bliss was real. The elections I voted in, the, the job I did, the life I had. Come on. You don't really think that people vote for the same party for 25 years straight, do you? It's a dictatorship masquerading as a democracy. And do you really think that crime could ever be truly eradicated? How do you know all this? I was the head of a modification centre. My job was to make sure that people's chips were functioning correctly. I never realised it, but I was filling their heads with whatever fictional or nightmarish bullshit that Bliss wanted me to. I did some truly terrifying things in that building. Then one day the commander came and showed me what was really happening, just as I'm showing you now. I joined the MFU and haven't looked back. MFU? Mind for us. Cheesy. But ethical. It's our mission to bring down Bliss. Commander? Jack, this is Commander Fitz. Good to have you on board, Jack. Now you know the truth, hopefully you'll start training with us to bring down Bliss. Of course. I need to get Katie, my wife, out of there. Excellent. We'll start tomorrow. And now, are you ready to make your first real decision? Depends on what that decision is. Oh, it's a very tricky one, mate. What to have for dinner? You have been listening to part one of Bliss, written by Scott Peacock, adapted for radio and directed by Emmeline Brayfield, with Rob Keeves as Jack, Honey McKenna as Katie and the AI, John Cooper Evans as Senator Bliss, Commander Fitz and the receptionist, and Emmeline Brayfield as Michelle and Mrs. White. The music was composed and produced by Honey McKenna. Produced by Cat on a Piano Productions. The theatrephonic theme tune was composed by Jackson Pentland. Performed by Jackson Pentland, Molly Fife Taylor and Emmeline Brayfield. For more information about the theatrephonic podcast, go to catonapiano.uk forward slash theatrephonic. Tweet or Instagram us at theatrephonic or visit our Facebook page. If you enjoy Theatophonic and would like to get more content, please consider becoming a patron by going to patreon.com forward slash theatrephonic. Please don't forget to rate and review. Thank you for listening.